As with all conveyors, several factors play a part in how well a belt will track. The following video of tracking fundamentals will cover the key factors. The first step to ensure proper belt tracking is to ensure the conveyor frame and pulleys are level by using a leveling device. For the frame, a level should be applied to the length as well as across the width. If the pulleys are flat or have a trapezoidal crown, then they can be checked in a similar fashion. However, if the pulleys have a radial crown, then the distance from a common fixed point to the center of both ends of the pulley would need to be measured. In this video, both sides of the frame were leveled with respect to each other, so a common point to use could be the top of the frame. The conveyor should be checked for squareness. Measure the width of the conveyor at both ends. Adjust the frame so that each end measures the same distance. Measure the diagonal distance from one end of the conveyor to the other. The measurements should be taken from fixed points. This operation should be done on both sets of opposite corners. Again, these two dimensions must be equal. Adjust the frame to ensure equal diagonal measurements. Verify that the pulleys are parallel. This is done by measuring the center to center distance between the rollers. This value must be the same on both ends of each pair of pulleys measured. All adjustable pulleys should be fixed into position such that they are perpendicular to the running direction of the belt. The tensioner and or take-up pulleys should be in the full retracted position. Apply proper initial tension to each edge of the belt. If the belt is tracking to one side, adjust one side of the tracking rollers in small increments until the belt tracks into the desired position. Note that in this video, the tracking roller is in the return side of the belt, so the direction of travel of the belt in relation to the roller is from right to left. The belt will move to the side of the roller that it contacts first. The tracking roller is adjusted so that its right side is touched by the belt first. Verify that the belt is centered by measuring the distance from each edge of the belt to the conveyor frame. Note that if the conveyor belt's direction of travel were reversed, the tracking roller initially used may have some opposite effect and would need to be placed back in the original neutral position while a different roller at the opposite end of the conveyor would need to be used to track the belt. Proper belt tracking is essential to the effective operation of an installation. Since the belt moves in response to a component alignment, it's important to regularly maintain the installation to keep the belt operating at its best.